Bromley Radio. We're now outside Bromley Magistrates Court. Simon Thorthrop has come to address the waiting media throng outside. Bromley Radio is here. Simon, can you tell us what went on in the court? Well, first of all, as you know, I'm always delighted to speak to Bromley Radio because, uh, you know, you are foremost in there when it's things that happen in Bromley. And as you know, this was a, a very sad and tragic case in many ways because uh, a lady by the name of Heather Watts was run over in Buckhurst Road by so run over in Buckhurst Road by, by a TFL security van. And she was very badly she was very badly uh, hurt. You know, she had bruising and one stage it brought her legs were broken because literally she was standing in front of the car doing her usual protest for the placard and the car drove into her and what appears to be a, been a deliberate act a deliberate act and then having knocked her down to a certain, to a certain, to a certain onto the bonnet having knocked, knocked her down onto, onto the bonnet of the car as she tried to stagger away it then ran into her again as it fled the scene and if it wasn't for the fact that Claire Dyer uh, pursued this car up nearly seven miles, nearly seven miles, almost to the M25, they were basically trying to escape. They knew that they were liable and they knew that they were, were guilty. That's why they fled the scene. That's why they didn't stop. That's why I'm pleased that today the magistrates have found him guilty. So Michael Akinsola, that's his name, is guilty. He's guilty of the offence driving it without due care and attention. And um, the magistrates were quite clear. They said that the evidence from Heather was incredible. And so that's my fans. <laughs> so, so, and it's true. It was incredible. And actually, you know, who can't believe the word of um, a, a, a very experienced driving instructor who happens to be a grandmother against somebody who didn't even bother turning up today. Um, now, the, the, but there's more to it. As you may or may not have heard in court, he already has six points on my license. That's another fan. So he already had six points on his license. So that meant that he was facing a, he was facing a disqualification. So they couldn't sentence today but the prosecution said that it was a category one offence, which means that it was very harmful and it was deliberate, basically. And therefore, when it comes back to sentencing, uh, an impact statement, a victim impact statement by Heather, will be presented to the court because, you know, effectively, the poor lady was out of work for six weeks. She's a driving instructor. When you've had your legs taken away from you, you can't drive. So. I'm glad that the, the, the guilty verdict's been found, but of course now we've got to go to TfL because ultimately Transport for London are the ones that employed him. They will try and deny it because a subcontractor, but ultimately they were responsible. Whichever way they did it, they're the ones that employed them, that, that employed whichever subcontractor it was to work on their behalf. So they weren't working on behalf of anyone else, they were working on behalf of TfL. And you know, I hope that Heather succeeds in doing that because the TFL should pay out and they should hold their ship and heads in shape. And as for Sadiq Khan, he knew what was going on. He was told about this. There was evidence that these were discussed in the London Assembly. Questions were asked and, you know, he didn't, didn't halt anything. In fact, even after he was told about this incident with Heather, he still persisted in sending out the security, guard, security guards and the vans. And to this day, security guards still go out to um, try and help in install, install situations. Because Tiff, whatever Carl says, ULES has been a failure because if it was such a success, why is he still trying to install more and more equipment? And therefore security guards go out and when good people like Phil is recording here, actually go and, and, and stand and protest and block it, lo and behold, um, you know, the security guards turn up as well. So, good job by people like Phil, and you know, let's hope, let's hope now that we can get TFL and pull them over the coals.
just going back uh, to the justice aspects of it, uh, Councillor. The um, sentencing hearing, the sentencing hearing, um, will that be heard at a magistrate's court? It will. Yes, it will. It will be held at a magistrate's court. But he risks now, because he didn't turn up for this one, if he doesn't turn up for the next one, for the sentencing hearing, and the reason that they couldn't sentence today is because he's going to be disqualified almost certainly. That's what it looks like, because the, the magistrates felt that it also that it was category one along with prosecution. So if he doesn't turn up, then there will be a warrant issued for his arrest and he will be held in custody until such time as we get him to court. Thank you very much for coming in that night, Councillor. And uh, yes, listen to this face as we find out what's going on and of course you can check out our website and the news and events page there. Thank you very much again, Councillor Simon Thank you Mick, it was a pleasure.